Traditional glute exercises like hip thrust, lateral band locks, clamshells, typically work the glute max and the muscles of the posterior hip in a more shortened position. But in order for a muscle to be strong, we also want to be able to eccentrically lengthen. So think of loading a spring. We want to be able Hey guys, today's post is just a simple breakdown of thinking about the glute max and the back side of the hip and the muscles here and why we want to be able to access different movement at the pelvis so we can create space. Thinking about both internal and external rotation, traditional glute exercises like a hip thrust or a banded lateral band walk often work the muscles on the back of the hip in a concentric way, so those muscles are shortened, but we want to be able to lengthen as well as shorten because we want to take a muscle through its full range of motion. So being able to access pelvic inlet internal rotation so that we can better get the femur to glide back in the socket, we can open up and lengthen the muscles on the back of the hip is going to be really important. Remembering too, wherever we can lengthen from is where we are going to load on our way up. So if we are not lengthening through the glutes and instead finding that movement through the low back, that is what is going to be loaded when we come off the ground in a hinge. Let me know if you have any questions. Two quick examples. If you cannot sit back into the glutes and get that glute length, we might drop into that anterior tilt and find the length from the hamstrings instead. Or when we're going back, we might overly tuck through the back side, getting more of that length through the back. And lastly, the inability to lengthen or fully leverage the glute max is going to impact our pelvic floor. Oftentimes, if we have compression on the back, we're also going to have backside pelvic floor tightness and also influence our abdominal strength and changing the muscle relationships in and around the pelvis. This is a full body workout that emphasizes opening up the pelvic inlet mid